Something else I want you to stop doing. Stop promoting yourself in the chat in other people's programs or workshops or services. It is the most annoying thing. It is the most pretentious thing. And it shows you are an amateur. Now, if somebody has said, hey, share something and you have a resource or you have a tool, share it. But when you say things like, I help people write books in 30 days, click my link here and talk to me. You are distracting from the reason people were there. This is no different than the stuff people do when they get on LinkedIn and go DM you and say, buy my shit, right? Or Facebook or wherever it is. So you want to make sure that you are utilizing your wealth of information to grow your business. You're not, uh, sorry, to, to, to offer resources so that other people can grow their business. You're not using it as a promotional tool. You don't jump on other people's Zooms or meetings or, or networking events and just start promoting yourself. So stop doing that if you're doing it. You immediately look like an amateur. The other thing I want you to stop doing on Zoom is stop utilize acting like you don't know how to use Zoom. <laughs> Let me say this again. Stop not knowing how to use Zoom. You gotta know how to raise your hand. If you're truly a business owner and you are someone who wants people to spend money with you and wants people to give you a credit card, you gotta know how to be on Zoom and raise your hand to ask a question. You gotta know how to use the chat function. You gotta know how to use some of those emojis or reactions. You need to know how to use Zoom. You look like an unsophisticated, antiquated person when you're in the chat going, how do I raise my hand? How does this work? And guys, we live in a world where information is everywhere. Go to YouTube and Google some videos on how to use Zoom and how to raise my hand and how to chat and do all of those things because you're stepping in, Zoom is now the room, you're stepping into a professional room in which you're wanting eyes on you in a professional way and if you don't know how to be in the moment of the times we live in, then you kind of look like you don't know what the hell you're doing and nobody wants to spend money with you. Now, here's a fun thing to stop doing. Stop underdoing Zoom. Let me tell you what I mean by this. Stop underdoing Zoom. Let me see some um, comments here. I usually show my QR code within my picture. Is that amateur? <sighs> it, it, uh, Josh, I'm gonna say it depends. Right. If if it was if it's a very specific thing where somebody's there and they're selling their products, programs and services, I'd probably not do it. But if it was more networking and a connecting thing, I think it's totally fine. Um, I teach classes on Zoom and I've set up a beautiful background in a home studio um, and students commented on the time. Yes, Louise, it, you're exactly right. It, and Good. You don't have to have everything perfect. I mean, you can see, listen, I have a little thing on my door because I have to. Can you see that at the top of my door? That is called a childproof lock. Why? Because my son has learned how to pick the lock. And I have been in uh, teaching a thousand people at one time and he's like picking the lock up here. So we've had to put a little extra thing. It's not going to be perfect. People know for the most part you're in a home office. Um, the other thing I'm going to say is stop using those weird backgrounds of green screen and you don't have a green screen and it's looking like like your hair is floating. It makes me crazy. I think it screams amateur immediately. Just find yourself a nice corner of a room. You don't need to live in the Taj Mahal. You don't need to have, you know, artwork like this, although mine needs to come a lot lower now that I've changed computers. You don't need all of that. You need a clean corner of a room that you could literally put a nice vase with flowers in it. It can be super simple, but you do want to look professional. Absolutely. Um, uh, Rick is saying, running into too many people who are the equivalent of seniors not knowing how to operate the VCR. It is true, Rick. This is why I'm trying to give you a warning here, right? So my last thing was stop underutilizing Zoom. Here's what I mean, guys. I'm going to try to show you this. All right, let me see if I can show you this drawer. Can you see this drawer? This drawer has about 20 pairs. Let me see if I can tip it a little more. About 20 pairs of glasses in it. And this is my Zoom tool. This is my Zoom tool. I have that on this side. And on this side, I have a makeup bag. And 
I have a little mirror that I keep in my um, filing cabinet. Why do I have those? Because at any given moment, you can get opportunities now. And it happens to me all the time is people will go, hey, will you jump on this thing? Or I just happen to jump on somebody else's thing and they see that I'm on there and they're like, hey, would you come and talk on this in a few minutes? And I am Zoom ready because all I have to do is whatever shirt I have on, I also keep a black shirt in the closet. I have a little closet right here. Keep a black shirt because that'll work for anything is I can go, okay, I wasn't planning for this. I, I don't really have a lot of makeup on, whatever. I'm like, how can I make this really pop? I'm going to put on a black shirt. I'm going to put on these glasses. I'm going to do a touch of makeup and I'm ready to roll, right? And I could do this all day long, guys, right? You figure out what it is for you. You know, you can keep a drawer of great necklaces. You can keep a drawer, men of bow ties, if you wear bow ties, you know, or whatever it is. But I specifically have this because I want to overutilize Zoom. And what I mean by that is, is that I want to look, I, I want to have a little bit of a pop. And you guys know, you see me, I show up in sweats. I mean, I show up like sometimes, you know, super casual, but that's my community. And I kind of do that intentionally because sometimes I'm dressed and ready to go. And sometimes I'm living my mom life. And so, But I am not going to underutilize Zoom. I'm going to have a pop that pops my face. I'm going to have some makeup when I need it. And if I need to show up and shine, I can do it in less than three minutes, literally less than three minutes. And so find your accessory, find your thing where you can pop on zoom and stop underutilizing this opportunity for your head to be in a little box and for people to see you and for you to show up. And when you speak, your people are going, wow, she's put together and, or wow, look at those great glasses or wow, look at that sophistication, right? So be ready to do that. So Zoom is our new room, folks. It's where we're going to network. It's where we're going to make money. It's where we're going to get clients. It's where we are going to grow. It's all of those things. Uh, you know, I'm really fine with this. You know, for me, I have a four and a half year old son that is the love of my life. And he is a handful. And I don't mean he's a handful emotionally. I mean, this is a bright kid who plays soccer and, and does advanced math and has special programs he's in. And I want to do those things with him because those are so much fun. But you know what else is really fun? The work that I do, the clients I have, the people I serve. So the fact that this year has set a framework for me to do all the things I love by sitting at this desk for the most part or sitting in a local studio or running over to my office but not getting on a plane and having to go across the country or across the world, I'm happy that Zoom is my room, but I wanna, I don't wanna underutilize it. I don't wanna mess it up and I don't wanna take it for granted. You can't treat it like, oh, I'm just gonna get on this thing. I'm not gonna get on camera or I'm gonna be laying on my bed or I'm gonna be laying on my couch. And I know most of you aren't doing things to that extreme, but all the little things add up. Are you engaged on Zoom? Do you always get on camera, right? Are you ready to roll at any time that you can add a pop of something? Are you, are you hiding out or are you using the chat? All of these things really matter for you to make money, make connections, and be able to use Zoom to grow your business. <music>